guys, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on a Budget and day two of my five days of Christmas looks. And today I'm going to be collabing with my lovely, lovely friend Jerry from Growing Older with Style. Now if you saw my video about my favourite things of the month, you would have seen that I mentioned Jerry. Um, I just think she's cracking. I, can, I can't say enough things about her. Um, she's such a lovely warm person and she's definitely definitely a big big bonus to our mature community she's she's just puts it over so well and she's so warm and you just can't help but like her so what we've chosen to do together today is a rust look um i think jerry looks i think jerry looks lovely in anything but i think she looks lovely in rust and uh, so that's what we've chosen to do together today, to stick to a rust look. And this is the look that I've chosen to do. And I'll show you how I did okay, it. Okay guys, so I've got my base on um, like I did yesterday to save some time. I've got my foundation on. I'll list what all these are and the colours down below. I've got my tried and trusted Maybelline Eye Eraser, which I wear all the time. I've got uh, Makeup Revolution. You can see the reflection, can't you? Makeup Revolution Eye Primer. And I've sealed that on top of my lids with... Um, this is the Maybelline Melon Melon. I've used this for years, guys. You've seen me use it before. It's either that one or the creme brulee. I always use those as my base. So there are my bases and now we'll get started on the look. Okay, so today for the eyes, we're going to be using... I can't do this. You can see my look. It's so reflective. This is the Makeup Revolution Flawless 3 Resurrection Palette. Um, and it's great for rust tones, warm tones. I love this palette, guys. I'm trying to be careful of the mirror. See all those tones? So we're looking for rust today, so I'll be mostly working around here. So today I want to concentrate mostly on a matte look, um, but a very, very warm look. So we're going with these rusty tones. Unfortunately, I have lost the sheet that goes on top to tell you what the colours are. But I'm going to start, as I said, this is the resurrection tree. I'm going to start with this one here. This one. <laughs> this one here. I'm going to put that on a flat brush. And I'm going to put that on my eyelid. So guys, next for what we call the transition colour, I'm going to use this one here. So we're not doing too rusty to start with, we're just doing really sort of neutrals to start with and then we'll build the rusts up later. So like I've said before, look straight ahead at your eyes, keep your eyes just normal as they would be and that's where your socket would be, just here. This is particularly sort of good if you've got hooded eyes to do it that way so we're just going to the transition there we're not doing anything um, intricate or um, heavy or anything like that just just doing that transition you can see that's just a very neutral colour Okay, so next I'm going to go in with this one here, which is the, see that one there? It's kind of a deep camel, I wouldn't say it was too rusty, but it's a, a deep camel I would say. So we're going into that one, this one we're going to be a little bit more precise, so we're not going as far up as we went with the other one. We're using a flat brush and we're packing but we're not going as far up as we did with the other one and it's a different you can see it's a different method of putting it on packing you can see better that side can't you guys what's the blooming light 
blessed light, sorry. Right, that's that. Remember guys, not above, not further round than the cut of your eye there. And then more blending. With any look guys, I know I say it time and time again, blending is the key. Now I haven't put anything on my brow because I started with the melon melon to start with as a base. So I'm just blending everything into that. I want a matte look so I don't definitely don't want no shimmer on the brow. Okay so now once that's really really well blended and you can see there's no fallout from these shadows at all. So we're going to take the same colour again which is, I call it, I do call it kind of a dark camel. And we're going to go under the eye. So we look up. Really, really close to the lashes. And then we're going to take that up like that. So we've got a bit of a corner like that, yeah? We can do the same that side. Very close to the lashes. up to the corner like that now we don't need to blend that just yet because we're going to blend that in with the third colour so what we need now is the third colour and we're going for this one here which is really a true rust I would say sometimes it comes across different on camera guys um, you know the colours come across different but I would say this is a true rust now this one is just for the outer corner so smaller brush so we can do more of a precision job we're going into the outer corner like this just the V coming up a little bit we know I always say we have to work up a little bit so that it brings our eyes up we don't want to drag them down especially in my case <laughs> and we're coming sort of a third in a third into the lid I would say and we're just roughly shaping that out. I always get the main shape out with a more of a precision brush and then I blend afterwards. But I get that shape first and I would say, yeah, about a third of the way in. And then we're back to blending. I'm going to do that both sides, obviously. So the final colour for the lid. Now I said I'm going all mattes today. And we're going for this one, third one in here, again, and on the lid like this, not shimmery, it's matte, oh it's a bit silky actually, I want something really matte this one. And then what we can do now blend <laughs> go back and forth back and forth so that there's no the the rust that we put on the last third and the baby color we put on the inside two-thirds will blend together okay so that's my eyes done I've got my mascara on and my brows done and um, now you've seen me do this before guys when I choose my blush or my lip I take the palette, whatever I'm using for my eyes, and I hold it up. I hold my, my choice of lipstick and blushes and highlighters, whatever, up next to the palette. So that I've got an idea that everything is coordinated. So you can see that what I'm choosing to use is coordinated with my eyes. So if I had a pink or a burgundy on, I would go for more pink or burgundy colours as you've probably seen this week. So we're going to blush next. So we go for the dark end first. This is the Makeup Revolution Gradient Highlights in uh, this one is this This is uh, 
Sunlight Moodlight. I've seen me use this one before, guys. It's one of my favourites. So I'm going with the darker one first. And I'm going up onto the cheekbones. Now, a lot of people say smile and put it here. I think it's all according to the shape of your face. But that doesn't actually suit me. This is better for my shape to more chisel it up here. Because I don't tend to contour. Um, and why don't I contour? Um, well, the main reason is... Do you see the hollows there? See the hollows I already have? That's age. <laughs> so I don't need to add to it. <laughs> so we're going to blend that. Like this go round the side of the eyes like that and blend round. Honestly, I'm the queen of blending, guys. And then we're going to go into the light side there, and we're going up just on the top there, just kissing that cheekbone there, just with the light side. You and my tummy rumbling, guys. I'm just going to have my breakfast. <laughs> my lips today. This is the uh, a Makeup Revolution Amplified Lipstick. And this is in Euphoria. Got a lot of Makeup Revolution. I love Makeup Revolution, guys. Euphoria. And if you can see, that all blends in with the eyes and the face, all the colours blending together. I'm then going to block that, which will take a bit off. Um, and I will go over the top with a gloss. Again, peachy tone. But when this particular gloss, it's a Makeup Revolution one, I will list it below as always. Um, it looks very orangey in the tube, but it's actually pretty clear when it's on. So you're not losing your um, your tones you want. So that's it, guys. That's my warm, rusty look. I should go and get myself ready and be back. Okay, guys, so that's my look for today. My bus look. What do you think? Not bad, is it? I like it. So it wasn't difficult. Um, I love Makeup Revolution, guys. I think they they are a real winner for me. I'm very, very, really disappointed with anything from them. So that's my look. I please go over and see Jerry's. I'm so happy to have worked with her. Um, I can't say again. You know, you know how much I love Jerry. Just go over if you haven't seen her. You watch one, two videos, and you will know why I love her. <laughs> okay. And I can't wait to see Jerry's look. Actually, she's so glamorous, especially when she's got um, she wears this Raquel wig, and oh, she just looks so glamorous. <laughs> So that's it for today guys, I will be back tomorrow with my Wednesday look and another one of my beautiful friends. Thank you for watching today, I hope you've enjoyed it guys, you take care now, see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.